very big welcome to you and thanks for joining me here on a business update here on News 9 o'clock on Church or Television. My name is Kweku Ediyama Ansa. Let's start off with our first story. Now, President Taku Fuado has revealed that the Youth Employment Agency will from next year recruit 80,000 people who hold certificates lower than degrees. Now, according to him, this forms part of the government's plans to reduce the unemployment rates in the country. Now, he was speaking in the Ashanti regional capital in Kumase, where he launched a nation builders called NAPCO, which will see 100,000 graduates employed in the various sectors in the economy. From where initial applications will be received. The website's address for the receipt of applications and any other information you may need on the scheme is www.napco.government.gh. After the end of this ceremony, the web portal will be open to begin receiving applications from graduates as long as they are citizens of this country and have duly discharged their national service obligations. There are no charges or costs and no paper application forms to fill. Everything is being done online and on the website of NAPCO. This will optimize efficiency in the processing of applications as well as afford the opportunity of, for checking with other available national databases to prevent fraud. With the application processes closing on 1st June 2018. Let's move away and do some other stories where President Tekufado on Friday swore in the newly constituted board of the National Labour Commission at a brief but impressive ceremony at the Jubilee House in Accra. In a brief speech, the president outlined the significance of the organized labor and reiterated how, how nations with organized labor remains crucial and record the efforts of the minister to ensure industrial peace in the country. Now, in response, the chairperson of the board, Andrew Abna Samwathan, the president, for his confidence reposed in them and promised to live up to expectations in the very eliminated labor environment. Let's move away and do some other stories where the Bank of Ghana has appointed an advisor to directly supervise operations of Sovereign Bank. Now sources indicate that it took place around the time that the regular appoint, appointed an administrator to take over the management of Unibank earlier this year. Now reports indicate that the decision to appoint an advisor was after several back, backlashes and forth uh, between the bank and the Bank of Ghana with hearings on many occasions. Now, Sovereign Bank is a full-service bank with a principle aimed of making a difference in the banking and financial services landscape by being unique in its services, delivery, and pro product offering. Let's do a final story where former staff of SWAL Capital Bank and UT Bank are up in arms of the management of the GCB um, since payment of their exit pays after the appointment were terminated in August. 2018 still have some outstandings. Now reports indicate that after the termination of the appointment of about 135 workers of the now defunct UT and Capital Banks were promised exit pays but have not received any amount. Now it can be recalled that the Bank of Ghana revoked the licenses of UT Bank and Capital Bank on August 8, 2018 due to the severe impairment of their capital. Now, the Bank of Ghana approved a purchase and assumption transaction with the GCB Bank Limited that transfers all deposits and selected assets of UT Bank and Capital Bank to GCB Bank Limited. That's all we have for you by way of business update here on our news bulletin. Do join us in our subsequent bulletins. My name is Kweku Edwiyama Ansah.